Um, what's up, everybody? Hello. Finally. Yeah. Yep. So my name's Jeffrey Kong, and this is Jeremy Tucker, and, and our game is called Leap. Uh, our this is the project for um the introduction to game design or fundamentals of game design class. Our professor is uh, Dr. Michael Weeks, and this is the final uh, final project video that was due on April 30th. So the game that me and Jeremy developed a uh, 2D platformer with an emphasis on speed, and it's pretty much a speed run throughout the entire game to beat the developer's time, which was my time, that I, I did moments ago before uploading the game. So for this game, we used the Unity game engine to develop our 2D game. And for me, uh, what I did, my role in the project was to be the programmer and the animator as well. And for animations, I used a software named Pisco Editor, which is a free software for creating sprite sheets. Um, for or my part of the project was handling sound and level design. Uh, for the sound, uh, I got the sound files and other audio files, and also the music files from sound, uh, free source mp 3 It's just a website that allows you to get royalty-free sound files. And I got the music files from YouTube. Also, for, for implementing the audio, I just made a simple uh, audio class and just attached that class to the player, to the player game object. Just so you can have the sound animations or have the sound lined up with the actual animations. And for the level design, um, I was going for a gradual like increase. The levels get more difficult as the game goes on, but I also didn't want them to be easy whatsoever. So after after kind of the beginning, the levels are just straight up difficult. So I just wanted to see. I just kind of wanted to make it so it was like a challenge and you get that uh, sense of accomplishment when you finish. And that's the end of our project video. And uh, we're just going to move on to me playing the game, showing you the game and how it looks. Yep, uh, thanks for your time and I hope you enjoy. Hello everybody, this is Jeffrey and I'm back to show you the gameplay demo. So here's our first level of the game. We could move the character with WASD to um to move across the level. You could jump with space, and you could do a dash with J, which will give you a boost of speed in the direction you're going to. And also, you could wall jump by pressing space when you're making contact with a wall. And a little tip is that you could get a bigger wall jump if you were to hold space on the wall. So you could get bypass levels. So you could go past obstacles that you would you wouldn't normally have to go through. So here's a good example. You can see the obstacle at the bottom, which is the uh, multiple jumps. But if I were to do a, a big wall jump, I could wall jump to the other platform in combination with my dash to get up to the top platform. Ooh, that was close. And as you're playing through the level, you're going to have to fight the momentum from your wall jump. Which could be a good thing or a bad thing. So here I'm going to do a wall jump in combination with a dash, if I didn't die right there, to get past the middle portion as fast as possible. Well, I, I did a short wall jump. So here I go again. I did another short wall jump, not the fastest possible way of doing it. But it's better to get through it slowly on your first try than die multiple times. Here's another wall jump. Combination with the dash. Slip by here. And as you can see, my time is 143 seconds at the top left. Which is, I got in faster times because I played more after I recorded that time.
but that's going to be the time for when this game is going to be published. And here I'm showing that every level is possible to beat, even though it may not seem like it, because I have had moments where I tried to go through one of these levels and I kept dying over and over. But yeah, that's our game. And the game is accessible through um, Simmer.io, which is a website that Unity developers could publish their projects, their WebGL builds, and have it public for the internet to access. And that's our game demo.